here now, Republican Congressman Matt Gates. He sits, of course, on the House Judiciary Committee and is a close ally of the president. Good evening, Congressman. Good evening. I've seen the, like, you know, pin the tail on the donkey child's game, but that was like pin the tail on the impeachment theory from John Garamendi. We went from collusion to obstruction of justice to emoluments to the Ukraine, for goodness sakes. I think Democrats will have, a, have to have a little bit more cohesive of a message to convince the country. So do you think it, it's going to backfire on them? Because there's sort of this conventional wisdom building among Republicans that this could be some ugly headlines for a while, but in the long run, this is going to blow up politically because the Democrats, the Republicans believe anyway, went ahead without having all the facts. What say you? Remember, Nancy Pelosi didn't do too well at the ballot box after she said we should vote for Obamacare and then afterwards read it and find out what's in mm -hmm. it. This is sort of the impeachment version of the same theory. Let's impeach the president and then hopefully along the way we'll gather the evidence. But there's something very different here, Ed, than we saw in the Russia investigation. In the Russia investigation, Democrats went slowly because they believed over time the evidence would get better for them with the Mueller report, with Mueller's testimony, with McGahn or mm -hmm. Barr. Here, they don't want to get the facts. And in fact, they're so far away from the facts, Adam Schiff literally has to make up a fake transcript yeah, and try that. to read it into the record. And I, I think that is indicative of Democrats with a strategy of impeachment by rocket docket. They are going to be carving through our country with impeachment before they carve into their Thanksgiving turkeys. So you think it's going to happen that fast? Here's my next question, though, to turn it around on you and Republicans, which is another difference from the Republican investigation, uh, the Russia investigation uh, with Bob Mueller, is that we before did not have a transcript of a phone call where the president of the United States says, I need a favor to another world leader. Aren't you troubled as somebody who sits on the House Judiciary Committee by the president saying to another world leader, I need a favor, and it involves another country apparently interfering in our elections? If we're going to impeach every president that asks for a favor from a foreign leader, we're probably just going to have to have a standing committee on impeachment and impeach every one of them. I mean, sure, but Joe Congressman, Biden's pardon not... me, but Congressman, we just went through two and a half years, and you've been on many times saying, you know, there was no collusion, there's no collusion, and then the president gets on the phone with Ukraine, uh, maybe not last time, but now here it is in black and white that it looks like whether you call it collusion or what, he's working with the Ukrainians against one of his political rivals. You're not troubled by that? Well, Joe Biden isn't Voldemort. It's not like if you say his name, it, everyone has to go trembling asunder. You know, the, there is a treaty that was signed by Bill Clinton, for goodness sakes, where we literally lay out the protocols, lay out the authorities for mm -hmm. leaders or other entities of the government between the United States and the Ukraine to talk about corruption. Yeah. And again, the context is important, Ed. Before even a mention of Joe Biden or military aid, you've got the president saying to Zelensky that Merkel and Macron aren't doing enough for the Ukraine. So he sure. is there they're taking up Ukraine's that cause. Context, He's not threatening Last them. question, Congressman. Uh, there's a new report out today suggesting uh, even more about what we heard yesterday, uh, that people inside the White House allegedly uh, were trying to keep this transcript we've now seen under wraps in some way. If there was nothing bad there, why did it appear that some in the White House, some around the president wanted to hide it, sir? Well, if it is in fact true that this was transferred from one server to another, one reason might be that you actually had President Trump and President Zelensky throwing shade at two other world leaders mm -hmm. that we were absolutely going to need to engage with the Ukraine to drive out Russia, which even okay. Mr. Garamendi says is the objective. So I think that there were other sensitive elements of that call that had nothing to do with Joe Biden, where you might not want it widely disseminated. And frankly, it's probably done some damage to those relationships that we've had to go through this yeah. catharsis to satisfy the bloodlust of radical Democrats. All right. Congressman Gates predicting we're going to see an impeachment vote before Thanksgiving. We'll see if that holds true. We appreciate you coming in tonight. Thank you.